Seca. Yeah, what's up? Did you see? Obviously not. What? There's a Zhao video. Oh fuck! Hey, let's go, <laughs> guys. It's like I'm going to bring you another Genshin Impact video for this one. We're going over a new Zhao trailer that we just got out, and uh, we'll be going over uh, him in detail, give you some insights of what we got, and of course some theories from myself and chat bantering it out. So let's jump into it. Okay, so we got the skill teaser stuff for Zhao. Let's go check it out real quick. Okay, he's highly mobile burst damage dealer. can sacrifice HPs and increase damage and jumping power for a short time. Sounds good. Vigilant Yakusha, polar weapon. Sounds great. Okay, now let's look at this. Did I make it too big? I think it's too big. Is it too big in your mouth? Here's his normal attack animation. Uh, so when we the final hit there, and then there's like the, there's the charge attack. It kind of just does like a, a normal hit, and then a sweeping motion in front. So it looks like it's really going to be similar to the way one-handed sword users do a, sword, a charge attack, versus like the other characters in the game. Uh, the pole argument is typically what I've seen for Zhang Li and Jin Yang. They've done like a a dot like a spike motion in front, whereas Zhao is going to do this crazy motion in front of him. It's kind of just like a, a normal sweeping attack, which is kind of good because he has a lot of <coughs> he has a lot of mobility already. So that's good. That's fine. I guess I'm cool with that. That sounds great. OK. All right. All right. All right. So that's cool. It's six rapid strikes. And from what I saw on Genshin Honey, if we look at it here in Genshin Honey, it's going to be two attacks followed by a single hit, followed by a third single hit, followed by two consecutive swings. Then a fifth and sixth hit. So a total of eight strikes. And then the charge attack damage looks like it's gonna be a normal the first two hits. And then it's gonna be followed by the 121. So a total of uh looks like 50 uh 52 plus uh 121 for the charge attack total. So not the greatest. Absolutely mad that. All right. So kind of cool on the charge attack, no attack. Okay, so let's go into the E ability. This is called the Lemonet Lemnis. Static wind cycling performs a high speed dash, dealing animal damage to, uh, can be used up to airborne. Now the C1, of course, increases the charge that is the amount that you get with two charges. And from what I can see on the E, it starts out at 252% and level rank six goes 353 on a 10 second cooldown. And you can see in the mid air, you can actually use it twice, which is lit. So um, I'm assuming when you're like doing plunge attacks and just like dominating on people, this is gonna be great to see with the E motions. And I don't know. It looks like in the in the skit here is using a primordial jade spear, so it's gonna that's that's what they're assuming you should use. So you know, just like we thought before. So that's cool. Um, energy gain looks like three energy particles come out. So it looks like energy gain uh, might not be as bad as they said it was um, for Zhao's E. Of course, if you use two E's too too soon, you might not get the energy gain from both. You might have to do E and then some normals in between and then be able to do a knee again. Otherwise, you won't get the energy gain from both. It really, similarly, that kind of works out like Bennett's E if you get a sacrificial sword on it. If you hit E twice in a row, you don't get the energy back, back right away. So you have to have like a little space between uh, using your E probably to get your energy back. Okay, the ultimate ability. Let's look at that. So it's of course gonna change all your abilities to Animo, which is lit. And then you can see here all your attacks go to Animo and then the plunge attacks come out. So it looks like when you jump up for a plunge attack, you can see here that he just jumps for a plunge attack, it like immediately puts you up in the air. I don't know if that's like at the end of your attack animation, but it looks like it might be at the end of your attack animation because it looks like you do your normal attacks and then right before the sixth hit, you go to a plunge attack. Maybe that's part of the animation. And you can see here also the where he's getting energy from at the end there. That's actually just from kills. That's not from uh, the energy gain from using it. So, um, the animo damage here is also going to boost your overall animo damage. So it's called the Bane of All Evil, and it greatly increases Zhao's jumping ability. Zhao increases AoE uh, attacks and AO attack AoE and damage. So it looks like you're getting a bigger sweeping motion on your normals here. So you can see that you're getting like the big sweeping attacks on spear attacks versus like being able to just like have a linear attack animation. So it makes it some more more of a sweeping animation. So that's nice. Um, it cannot beat over any other elemental infusion. So like Bennett's E is not going to override this. So you can't use Bennett's E to override it. So it looks like Animo has the priority uh, infusion uh, as far as anything else goes. So that's kind of cool. Uh, in this stage, Zhao will continuously lose HP and the effect of the skill ends when Zhao leaves the field. So it's again, very similar to Razor. If you're using the ultimate for Zhao, you can't swap off of Zhao and you have to stay on him for the entire duration of his ulti. So that's, you know, both good and bad there. What are you gonna do? Who big ol' who cares? Okay, so 
Um, as far as the essential materials for him, of course, if you didn't know already, you of course need the, the books with the fan on them. I think they're called Prosperity. And you're gonna need slimes as well as uh, these Shadows of the Warrior. So make sure you're farming those out if you have not as well. Um, you're gonna need, of course, a bunch of those moral wits and all that stuff to get all that done. And again, if you did not hear my previous video about Zhao, please, 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 God, do not farm crystals. If you're farming crystals right now for Zhao for Ascension, you still will need to farm out the uh, the new material out called the Juvenile Jade out of a new boss. So please, again, do not farm the Animo boss. Your face will be like this afterward. You'll be like, oh, what? Why did I do this to myself? Boo. Ooh, woo. Ooh, woo, ooh, woo, ooh, woo, ooh, woo. So again, make sure that you're going to be farming the new boss that's going to be coming out for that as well. Uh, you're going to need a bunch of Kishin flowers, so get those as well. You'll be good to go. All right. Ancient times. Liyue was a land of misery, where the shadow of evil loomed large. As slain gods festered, their vengeful wrath cursed the world, manifesting in infernal forms. When demons stirred, miasmas, monsters, and mutations infested the land. Yeah, here's the best backstory so far. Then Rex Lapis summoned the Yakshas to vanquish the demons. They swore an oath. Narrated by Zhang Li. Purge evil through battle. To this. Who the fuck are these guys? Wait, why are we at the Zhao? But who the fuck are these guys? Is that Zhang Li? Is that Zhang Li? I don't know. Is that Ganyu? That's gotta be Ganyu. That's gotta be Ganyu, right? So we got Ganyu, Zhang Li, Amber. <laughs> Uh, the electro new electro five star pog new electro five star pog, um, Hu Tao baby, probably Hu Tao, probably Hu Tao, probably Hu Tao. I'm, I'm, you know, I mean, Hu Tao's gonna come out, right? This is probably Ganyu, right? Because the thickness booty. I don't know if it's a girl or not, but maybe it's Kaya, you know, because it's got the the long ass hair. So maybe I don't know. Uh, all right. So uh, who's this, who the electro do that though? I just want to know. We dedicate our lives. Eons of bloodshed later, karmic debt weighed upon them, phantom wrath seeping into their broken souls. They went mad with fear, turned on each other, or succumbed to the darkness. <gasps> Wait, is that Scaramouche then? Is that Scaramouche or something? Is he dark? Maybe, I don't know. Of the five foremost Yakshas, death came to three, while the fourth vanished without a trace. Wait, wait, what'd they say? Of the five foremost Yakshas, death came to three. Three died. Okay, three died. Never mind. Okay, so one of them's alive still. Does that mean? Well, the four. Wait, wait, wait. Which one died then? Vanished without a trace. Which, which one though? Which one? Bruh. Which one? Which one vanished? Which one vanished? It wasn't Ganyu then, probably. I don't know. Trace. In the millennia since, probably the purple one. one conqueror of demons remains the sole surviving Yaksha in the mortal realm. And only on moonlit nights, in the glow from Guyan, and in the sound of the Dihua flute, is his memory preserved. Bro, who is you? Who? I, I'm fucking dying here. Okay. Which one? Which one? I, I, know, I need to know. Which one? Which one? Okay. They, they slashed the faces of all of them. I am deterred. I want to know who. Okay. This is probably not Ganunu. I thought it was initially, but probably not Ganunu. Um, it's probably, you know what? If I had to guess between all of these, it's the purple one, right? It's got to be the purple one. It can't be Hu Tao. Hu Tao is a legend, right? Hu Tao can't be a Yaksha, right? I don't know. Hu Tao is hella short. Anyways, but I'm guessing the purple one, he looks like some Super Saiyan Vegeta 2 uh, ass motherfucker. So I'm, ass I'm assuming that it's the purple one that is still alive. The blue one and the red one and the, and the, the Geo one probably died from bitch status. And then the, the lightning Super Saiyan 2 Gogeta over here, probably alive. Iro dies Geotex Hydra. Well, uh, let's go look. To this, we dedicate our lives. Eons of bloodshed later, karmic death weighed upon them. Phantom wrath seen. Okay, they said karmic death weighed upon them, so I'm assuming after this shit happened, but the, the red one died. Being into their broken souls. Okay. They went the, mad with the, fear. Okay, the, the Geo one and the, the Cryo one probably were Hydra. I don't actually know if it's Cryo or Hydra, but they probably fought it out and they both died because Turned of it. Turned on each other. The, the, the blue one's definitely dead. Succumbed to the darkness. 
this dude he has to be alive they made this guy way cooler in the back end so uh next electro character is the the electro yakusha uh he's gonna have four arms i don't know why but he's got four arms of the five foremost yakushas okay they said death came to th three and one ran away right uh based on how they did this death came to three while the fourth vanished the slash patterns, this is the only one with like a minor slash pattern. Maybe it's the blue one. Maybe the blue one's okay. This one, this one has blood on it. This one has blood on it. This one has blood on it. This one has no blood. So the, the Hydra one is still alive, okay? No blood on the bottom one. This one has blood. This one has blood. This one has blood. This one does not have blood. So this one's alive. Geo killed Hydro? But well, look at it. Look, 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 look. Chat's saying Geo killed Hydro. But Geo has blood on it. Uh, Pyro has blood on it, if you can look closely, right? And then the Electro has blood on it. But the Hydro does not. So my assumption is that the Hydro is still alive. Vanished without a trace. Yeah. Oh, wait. Is there blood? No, that's just part of the mask. No, is that blood? In the millennia since one con. No, that's blood. That's just part of the mask. That's definitely blood. That's definitely blood. That's definitely blood. This is uh, maybe. The, oh, actually, there's a little bit of blood. A tinge, maybe a tinge. I don't know. It looks like a shadow. That looks like blood. Okay. Anyways, uh, well, I know purple's dead. I know Geo's dead. I don't. It's either between Amber and and Cryo. Amber might be alive, or the whatever. whatever the Hutao. I don't know. One of them. They all have blood. I don't see blood. I see this one as like a line. Let's go look. Oh. Oh, she has an about Zhao. He seems like a bit of an outsider, social, popular personality. I can understand, to be honest, but I'm not really trying to get close to him. I mean, all the people he's agreed with, he's not knowing her with us. Ah. So it's not, it's not Ganyu. It's, uh, it's not Ganyu. She's after Death Eye? Well, it can't be Ganyu then. She's not a, she's not a, she's not a Yakuza. Speculation over. Uh, thoughts and opinions. Atlas is the golden wing who is also the conqueror of demons. Known, no one know, none knows where once he came or whether he went. Only at springtime during the offering lantern at nights might the people see the glow at the Gunyan declare. Behold, the vigilant Yakusha ends the dominion of demons. Pog. Um, or might hear the flute sound against the marsh seeds, but find none who will play the flute. And thus, hark the Yakusha calls to summon his old friends to their own homeland. Okay, so what I got from that is... Snooze Master 9000, I'm dead, please give me English. Um, and they basically copy pasted it in, in this description here, too. So, um, clearly not enough information to go on. Uh, Venti looking like a champion in the corner. Uh, but of course, Zhao, probably new wallpaper for every player in the game. Uh, get your free wallpaper here, brought to you by MiHoYo. Uh, that's going to be able to do it for this video, guys. But my name's Sekapoko. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did enjoy the free wallpaper video, uh, of course, like and subscribe, all the fun stuff, and you guys have a great rest of your day.